In this tutorial what we're going to do is we're going to take a closer look at using the onEnterFrame function and I'm going to go into my code and it's very similar to the code that we've already written and what I've done is I've included a few more features so I've still got my event listener with my keyboard event key down so when we hold the spacebar down it, it should move down and I've got a new event listener which is spin and this is the on enter frame function and the way that this works is that this code will run when the f when the playhead touches on enter frame and it will implement the code and run it at um, 12 fps so 12 frames per second it will execute that code if we go go down and we say function move down and we can see my square underscore mc which is the instance name on the y axis so it's going to be on the up and down plus 10 so and I've got move down here on my event listener which is um, which is assigned to the stage not to the actual object so if I press the key down um, that will plus the Y so we'll see the object moving down by 10 pixels which is which would be the square um, MC at the bottom I've got another function called spin and I've got the event and I've assigned this event to the square MC. I've got dot rotation plus 45 pixels, so that's going to keep rotating um, 45 degrees. Sorry, that's going to keep spinning round and round and round. And this will all implement this. This code will implement on enter frame because it's um, and I've given this a variable name of spin. And when we press the keyboard on the keyboard, the ma um, sorry, the keyboard spacebar, you will see that object moving down so control enter test my movie here we go it's continuing to spin because the code is running on enter frame on my enter frame function and if I press on my spacebar on um, down I've got because I'm saying y plus 10 pixels so it's going to move down plus 10 pixels if I hold it down if I hold the keyboard down it whizzes off so it keeps executing that code so if I just hold the keyboard um, spacebar down there we go it'll whiz off the screen and if I press down once and I'm and let go, it will move down by 10 pixels. Plus, if I put the minus value in there, it will then move up. Okay, now let's have a bit more fun with this. So what I'm going to do is we can reduce um, the angle so it will be 25, so it's been a lot more slowly. And this is running at 12 frames per second, so it's running quite fast but I mean if we put a different angle in 45 it'll, it'll spin a lot faster I'm gonna leave it to 45 and the next thing I'm going to do is on this bit I'm just gonna say square uh, sq underscore mc the instance name um, dot x plus equals 10 so now what will happen is hey presto is spinning and it's moving along this axis along the x axis and it's gone off the screen and we'll show you that again and it's going moving by 10 pixels 10 pixels at a time if I reduce that say for example if I say 4 and it'll move a lot slowly now at the same time if I, if I press down if I press sorry um, the space bar you'll see it moves up and I'll just put that there and say plus so now it will move down by 10 pixels and I'll say 5 so it move a bit more faster and if I click down you can see it spins and if I hold down it will just whiz straight off and there it is still going ahead so that's quite cool so that's one way of creating animation that doesn't stop but is not on the timeline so the animation is all through um, it's AS driven and you can g feel free to really experiment and type in your own create start creating your own functions and experimenting with values um, you can use the movie clip properties that's why it's quite integral that we create our square MC or whatever your graphics inside of a movie clip so we can manipulate the movie clip properties in creating our own functions so that's what I'll expect you guys to do it's coming up in later later tutorials we'll look at particle systems and something a bit more superior in terms of um, AS creating AS driven animation